is very, very important because without it, it means that women are left in prison doing 10 years, 20 years, 30 years with ever opportunity to see the light of day again. It means that, that the person that they are becoming while in prison never will never have the opportunity to share who they are outside of prison walls. They'll never get the opportunity to be back with their children, their families, to create a real life for themselves. They'll never get the opportunity to share the remorse side of who they have become about what they did as part of the crime that was committed. With the bill being passed, it frees not only the person but the family. It, fr it frees everyone involved as far as the supporters. It frees the churches. It frees even the victim's family in a crazy kind of way because what has been destroyed by the person going to prison gets that second chance again to come out and, and give back and tell a story to help someone else so that they can prevent them from going to prison. Maybe. Um, had the bill been passed 21 years ago when I went to prison, two things could have happened. Maybe I wouldn't have spent as much time. I spent 20 years in prison. Or I might not have gotten as much time. I might have only gotten maybe five years. But a lot of things took place with me being in prison for as long as I was. My family and myself kept hope alive. But every door that seemed to open always got closed. And it made us all feel that the system is failing in the area of domestic violence. This bill would have made a difference for me and my family. My mom died in 2008 before I got released in 2010. I would have had the opportunity to live with my mom, take care of her while she was sick, ask her for forgiveness, and the whole tragedy that took place where I ended up in prison, I would have been able to somehow redeem that. It would have made a difference had it been in place because even after I've gone to prison I, and the bill got passed, I would have had the opportunity to go back into the court and get a, another chance to come out. So I think that the bill sets a statement, a very strong statement. And I don't think that it sends a statement to give women permission to kill. I think it sends a statement that the criminal justice system is now believing that they understand domestic violence and that for the whole history of domestic violence where people didn't want to get involved and people weren't speaking out and no one wanted to say anything and it's happening now. So this bill gives that strength and it gives the battered woman a place to believe that although someone lost their life, that they can make things right again. And I don't know how and, and what words can be replaced when a life is taken, but when someone loses their life, someone goes to prison, so in all actuality, two lives have been taken. And then we can't forget the families who suffer from both. Women, my sisters, who I've left behind, that are faced with a domestic violence case, or you may feel like your case is not a domestic violence case because you're too ashamed to even speak about what might have happened to you in your young adult years or in your, your mid-twenties, thirties, that this domestic violence bill, if and when, and I believe it will pass, will make a difference for you. It will make a difference for your family. It will make a difference for everyone that loves you and is involved. Begin to speak out. 
Talk about what you feel like you're ashamed of. Talk about what may feel as a, as a means of being embarrassed or you, you just don't want people to know that you subjected yourself to violent acts through your partner, your husband, your boyfriend. You must do that. It will help you and it will help others. It's a testament. I tell my story because I speak for those women who can't speak for themselves. I speak for the women that I left behind. I speak for the women who are in abusive relationships today. I speak for the women who died to abuse. I even speak to abusers. And my story, my testimony, and, and it's a gift. I give it away. And it doesn't belong to me anymore. After doing 20 years in prison and all of the healing and the processing that I've had to, to do, I, I, I go to schools and I, I speak at churches and I speak at hospitals and, and colleges and wherever I'm needed to give women the courage to speak out. We have to be there for each other and we have to help each other and pull our sisters up. Um, this bill means a lot. And without us, the bill is just some writing on a piece of paper. With our stories and our testimonies connected, it makes it that much more powerful.